Hey guys, and welcome back to World of Animals. As I mentioned in the past videos, I will get some new guppies soon, and at that point I thought it would be nice to do a species profile of this fish. So, let's start. The scientific name of the guppy is Poesilia reticulata, and the fish itself is a small live beer from South America. The females can up, get up to 5 cm long and the males around 3 cm, but they can be bigger, always. Mostly the males have more color, but not always. Sometimes even the females have much color, which is very beautiful in my opinion. And this fish is of course very common in the hobby because it's easy to keep and very flexibly but you should always make sure that you are treating your fish right so they are healthy and this fish is very good for community tanks you can keep them with plecos, tetras and maybe some shrimp if there are enough hiding spots for them so they won't get eaten, or the baby shrimp won't get eaten. Um, but what kind of aquarium do they actually need? Let's get into that. The size of your aquarium should be from 10 gallon or 30 to 35 liters up to anything, because these fish only need enough space to hide and swim around, but you shouldn't go under 10 gallon or 30 liters, in my opinion. Um, the water temperature should be around 22 up to 27 degrees Celsius, um, that are 71 up to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And you should always make sure that you have many plants inside your aquarium, because these fish have to hide the males often chase after the females, so the females should have enough hiding spots, and especially the fries. For the fries, um, plants like java moss or guppy grass are perfect, because they can swim inside there and stay there until they are big enough to not get eaten by the adults. And of course the females can swim inside these plants too, to give birth. But you can even use anubias if you have enough plants inside your aquarium. For the substrate you can use nearly anything because these fish don't really need substrate but of course it's always good for the beneficial bacteria and for the plants. These fish don't need very special parameters your pH should be in between 6.5 up to 8.5 and guppies need really hard water because they are from South America where the water mostly is quite hard you should make sure that your aquarium water um, is like that too um, especially if you want to breed them you should do that but as I mentioned before these fish are very flexibly, so it isn't that difficult to keep them. For food, you don't need anything special. You can use regular flake food, like I do, um, but they will eat anything. You can even feed some Daphnia or Artemia, it doesn't care. It doesn't matter. Sorry. You can see them feeding on some flake food. They always love it. <laughs> yeah. As you can see they are going nuts, nuts for it. It's easy to feed them and nothing special with that. So there is one more thing you should know about these fish. If we want to buy them make sure you know that there are many different types of guppies. For example, in my tank I have these antler guppies, the colorful, colorful small one here, and back there one half black red male. 
The half black red male is way bigger than the antler males and that's because these antlers are more like the um, form from the nature, the type of guppy from the nature and the half black red are inside the hobby for years now and over the time they got bigger but if you want to breed them be careful because if you keep two types of guppies in one aquarium be aware of that they can crossbreed that means if I breed in here like I do these fry maybe get when they are growing out features from the antler guppies and from the half black red guppies I have um, only a half black red male in here it's a leftover from the past <laughs> but um, they can crossbreed with the antler females so my fry will be mixtures of these two types of guppies maybe you will see that maybe not I don't know it yet because the fry aren't big enough but we will see in the future so always make sure that you um, that your guppies can crossbreed and if you want to uh, on want them to keep them like they are do a tank with only one type of guppies so they can't crossbreed in any way so that's it for today guys in my opinion these fish are very beautiful nearly, nearly any type of them is beautiful and hopefully all these fry will look great when they grow out but I would think so as you can see here, here's my favorite antler male. He has good long fins. And this one is the female I've got. An adult female. They will look great. The fry will look great if they are as big as these two. Of course, this male here is beautiful too, in my opinion. And it got has got this huge fin very cool yeah hopefully I can help you with this video and if I did <laughs> you can leave a like or a comment and subscribe if you want to see you in the next video